I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know anything about this game. The only thing I know is the art style and the title card making me go. <laughs> so let's get in together. and <laughs> So let's get in together into Invincible and see what it's all about. My name is Fisk. Enjoy the video. You are an astrobiologist named Yasna, a crew member of the Dragonfly, a small research vessel. At the start of the game, Yasna woke up in a full space gear, stuck on an alien planet with no recollection of how or why she got there. Checking her equipment, she discovers that her radio receiver is broken, thus she has no contact with the rest of the crew, but suspects that they can still hear her. Based on her own journal entries, she's in the close proximity of their camp. As Jasna heads towards their destination, her memory of the lost mission slowly return. However, she remains unaware why she lost her consciousness and memory. Now, she enters the camp, wondering what exactly awaits her there. Oh, hello. Wait. Much better. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This feels incredibly smooth though, I gotta say. So it seems like we got the um, ooh. That is pretty. So it seems like we got the amnesia, or we banged our head. We don't really know where we are. We got a little bit of memory loss if I understand. If I read that right, I'm left-handed and dyslectic, so I don't know. Thank you. Why, wine, sir? Yon, sir? Is that her name? Oh. Oh, I see how it works. Position. So we need to go over there, yes? The music can make or break a game, in my opinion. If you are able to create an atmosphere and the music just adds to it, it's, it's top della nuce. You know? So let's get up here and see if we can find anything. We need. This is Doctor Yasna reporting. Yasna, there you copy? go. I'm entering the campgrounds. Search the camp. All right, something. Is anybody out there? Oh. And robot. Let's see what this is. Hey, how's it going, Andrew? I think there's a storm coming in. Let's speak to him. Androbot. Androbot. Follow my instructions. Androbot. Oh. Oh, he, he jammed? Dude, that looks so sweet. It kind of looks retro, doesn't it? Let's see. So we can't speak to it. Okay. I'm reporting issues with Androbot. Groski. Did you reconfigure your reboot? Dr. Gorski. Have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms without telling anyone? Again? Oh, never mind. <coughs> oh, maybe. Artie, default position. Can I reset it? I was thinking it's about that, yeah. Buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Commonwealth Industries. That reminds me of uh, Fallout. Isn't that called the Commonwealth? Ooh. I see a camera. Okay, let's check the tents if we can. Can I get in here? Use? All right, sweet. Ooh, person. Oh, I don't know if this is good. Dr. Krauter, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Now, the thing is, like, when you meet them, it's like a little bit of story. He doesn't, he, something happened to it, obviously. I'm just thinking alien, right? So if he is infected with something and he's just going to turn on us. Oh, I don't like this. Doctor, please wake up. Please. I report that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Does anyone hear me? Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Krauter is in a serious condition. We can hear someone. Excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. Oh, it's his radio, is it? 
I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Dr. Reno. The transmitter is still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Take the hand. That hand, or this hand? normal pulse 2 o2 saturation is fine there's nothing physically wrong with the doctor his pupils respond properly look at my finger no delay in reactions yet no response to verbal communication no dude he's infected i'm calling it right now Ooh, you have any I can tell you what it is, maybe some kind of poison? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders, and there were no visible injuries. So, I, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No, methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary, but first things first, the lander. Uh, the lander, sir, what board. now? Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Find the mission log. Okay, we can do this. Are you, do, doctor, stay here, please. Don't go out. Don't uh, trot about. Oh, this led into another town. I thought, I thought this led out. Fair enough. Nothing we can pick up, I take it. Let's go into this one as well. So I don't really know what would, it's like, what could have made that, that to him. Because he responded to everything correctly, right? And uh, it's like, has he gotten scared of something? Or is like, that, did, did something fry his brain? Mm, I'm intrigued, yes. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Initial an analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, barium, and uh, titanium in uh, the composition. I would give a lot to understand what is it actually is. Quick, quick theory: a giant nickel iron meteor, dude. It's venom. It's uh, dude. It's something in the meteor. I would say. Splashed into the atmosphere on the Regis 3, melting its surface million of years ago. No, wait. Scratch that. The shape of the structures contradicts it. What does that say? Potential landing place. Let's see. Structures. Dude, we need to go and check that out. I think, yeah, this he's probably some... Is, is the most important thing is probably infected. the landing coordinates. AZ2316. Noting. 3.16. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. I recognize that voice. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. All right, we gotta find that. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. <gasps> Stop stressing me out! It's right there! No, that's a lamp. I love lamp. Oh, got it. Oh, that Please is the make detector. Sure it works. Dude, that is so cool! Oh, wait, so we should be able to see uh, the Roboto, yes? Pumps, ch uh, chest. That's the robot. Dude, that is so cool. Seeing through things like that. Uh, that's all right. Uh, let's see. Pumps. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. 
put the visor down. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> it would be so dangerous for me <laughs> in space. I would need a fixed just like visor or something like that. I would forget that. <laughs> Every time I walk out, I was like. <gasps> Here we go. Find the rest All of the right. crew. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Dude, this is seriously help, really it help? gives me Let's really look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the team head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just Are there, there any is issues? Something wrong with the connection, sir. It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> Am I? What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? I'm not leaving a Krauter like this. The Androbot isn't working properly. I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was thinking about looking around a little before, before we move on. And also, I don't really know how I use that metal thing. Maybe we just need to walk around. So, breaking immersion a little bit. I'm getting the vibes of uh, Firewatch and uh, a game I played not too long ago called Ar Arctic... Uh, let's see if I can get this right. Arctic Awakening. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that, you should go and check it out. It's really nice. It's re it, f it feels good. Okay, Just look at that. That feels like it's really, really close. It feels like it should be burning hot on on the surface right here. All right, let's uh, let's keep on moving and check this out. Oh, what's going on? I'm pretty sure that's where the doctor went. Right? Feels like we should go there first. No. There we go. rope needle so we are here dude we need to travel a long way to get there don't we site one site two we have a camp oh i see you know what i'm gonna take a right and go to ex excavation site first breaking the rules here It's eerily quiet. Imagine just finding yourself on an alien planet like this. Oh my lord. It's crazy scary, isn't it? Here we go. We got ourselves a crack. Squeeze through. Once more. Status. Damn piece of junk. Why is it blurry like that? Is that like just us? Like a character just so now, dude. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source mm. to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. Let's get down there. Yeah, nah. So something. Oh, a geyser? I think that's what you call them, right? No, yeah, it's uh, something with this. The rock did did this to us. It screwed us up. It's some sort of alien technology. It's gotta be. Just wanna check this. I can't get into it, can I? The tracker. Not someone. I'm following the signal. No, no, no. I'm not. Stop it. I wanna check this out before I do anything. I will though. I promise. Not just. Not just yet. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. No. Well, I'm gonna go down here. It feels like I'm getting stressed. I don't like it. That noise. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking. 
drills. Oh, look at this. For some reason, this reminds me of Hellraiser. The cube, like this, uh, the the lines on. The, I I don't know. It it might be a little bit far off. I don't know. Portable drill. Turn it's it a off. Drill. So damn loud. Phew. It's finally stopped. Yes, Are you there? I am. Unfortunately, alone. Working equipment gave me hope that someone just abandoned it. Didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed. What? Could have finished that if you wanted to. Okay, let's uh, let's get up here and see if we can find anything. I'm I'm feeling this eerie feeling that I'm being watched. To be honest. Huh? It, there's something on the ground. It's a journal. Two hundred meters. Cross section. Sea life. No. These are Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Possibility of life. Hell no, dude. So there is water on this planet. We must focus on both water chemistry testing and geological drilling. FRG structure base. I have no clue what this means. Layers of uh, sedimentary sedimentary clay interspersed with blackish red substance not geological not planetary millions of years old at least Ooh. this is giving me the chills uh dear dr Merritt, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference we would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition Obelski Obelisk 03 as an astrogator. <laughs> Why are you guys sending a, a left-handed dyslectic Swede over to a planet? I don't know. <laughs> Stupid choice. Your skills are overall performance in previous missions proved to us that you're re wait, did I read that wrong? Your skills and overall performance in previous missions proved to us you are your readiness to take it to the next take the next step in the space journey we would delight to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission accommodating officer space division gen hmm interesting up level i think i know where i can find her i feel like i'm skipping a bunch now You know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check the landing place and Gorski as well before I go up here. It feels like I'm onto something and I, do, I feel like I'm missing stuff because I went right instead of taking the stuff that was closest to me. Look at that. I feel truly alone. This is so cool. Wow. Let's check them out. This should be the landing site down here then. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Yes, it's... Relatively clean. Yeah, you should be fine right here, I feel. Oh, wow. Dude, look at this. And the music? Dude, damn. Uh, we can go down that way, or we could go... This way, right? Let's go this way, then. Dude, 
dude. I kind of just want to be quiet and walk around like this. It's very atmospheric. It's, it's, it's really good. Oh, damn. I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind. And I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Uh, right. All right, I can't get down this way. All right, I just want to... Wait. Whoa, whoa. Interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. <laughs> I can't see nothing. What did I do? Wait, here we go. Zoom in and out. Can I do that? Ah, here we go. Wait, can I focus that at least? Ah, perfect. <laughs> I don't even know how to handle my tools. Can I actually go this way then? Nope. Let's get back down here. Oh, dude, look at that. When I'm sprinting, she gets, uh, not fluster, but she, uh, she starts breathing heavy and she starts fogging the, 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 the visor. That is so cool. Details. If a game get me to shut up this much, it's good. I promise. It's I'm not quiet because I'm bored in any way or form. I'm just flabbergasted. No, it's a, my 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 jaw is just too far down. It's too much work to pick it up again. I uh, get the track route. I think we needed to get up that way, right? Imagine if we could get a space car. here yeah oh. get up the signal is coming from a castle backpack that's concerning i'm close but i can't see her yeah that's very concerning isn't it right there wow <laughs> yeah that was really goddamn guys i don't know what more to say i've, I've said it, it that's just a uh, very very intriguing i i really want to see more of this and if you guys want to see more as well make sure to like this video so i know i uh, should play this when it actually gets out or gets an other not another update and also, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. For now, though, my name is Fisk. Thank you for watching.